Getting started streaming on YouTube may seem really overwhelming at first, but trust me, it's incredibly easy to do, which is why I'm making this video to show you guys in under five minutes how to stream on YouTube. Let's go. Before you can even set up a stream on YouTube, you're gonna to need to make sure that your account is verified. Now that doesn't mean having a check mark next to your name, no. This verification is ensuring that you're a real person. All YouTube needs is your phone number so it can text you a code to verify your account. Within about 24 hours, you'll have these verified features unlocked with the additional ability to upload custom thumbnails and longer videos. Now starting from the YouTube homepage, if we go over to the right hand side and select the create button, this is where we can go to our live studio dashboard. We can also get to that page from our YouTube studio by going to the right side here and selecting the go live option. And instead of just streaming with the webcam directly within the YouTube site, we're gonna do a streaming software so that we can have a more customizable stream. So we're gonna select go on the streaming software option. No, it's not made for kids. And from here, let's go to the edit option. And this is where we can change the title of our stream. We can add a description of the stream, set the visibility. We're gonna change the category as well to gaming. You can even add the game title if you'd like. Under that, you can upload a custom thumbnail, which should be in 1280 by 720 pixels or 1920 by 1080 pixels. Next, let's head over to the customization tab. And this is where we can check off whether or not we want the live chat to be enabled, as well as selecting who can comment in the chat. As an example, you can choose only to have subscribers to be able to participate in your chat and set the amount of time that they need to be subscribed for before they can actually chat. You can also enable slow mode here. Once you're done with those settings, select save. And then from here, under the stream settings tab within our dashboard, this is where we can create and manage stream keys. Under the stream key selection is your actual stream key, which is something you don't wanna share with other people as they can stream directly to your channel if they get a hold of this. So give it to people you trust or just don't share it at all. But to copy that stream key, just go overhead to the right side here and select copy. And within your streaming software of choice, which could be OBS, Streamlabs OBS, any mobile streaming software, there's gonna be an option to input that stream key. So in OBS for me, I'm just gonna go to my settings and then go to stream. And within here, I'm gonna make sure that the YouTube service is selected. And then for the stream key, this is where we're gonna paste in that key that we just copied, hit apply and okay. Then going back to our live studio dashboard, we wanna take a look at the stream latency. This is where you're gonna find the biggest difference from streaming directly from a streaming tool versus controlling it from the live studio dashboard. You can set your stream to be ultra low latency, which will allow you to have the most real-time interaction possible with yourself and your viewers. If you intentionally want a delay on your stream, just go over to the right side and then add the amount of delay time that YouTube offers, 30 seconds or a minute. Under that, another cool feature you guys are gonna wanna know is to unlist the live replay once the stream ends. So instead of the stream being fully public after you end your stream, you can have it automatically unlist itself and then you can add it to separate playlists on your channel if you want afterwards. Okay, let's go back to my streaming software. I'm gonna select start streaming and we're off and live. If you schedule a stream, it's not gonna go live for you automatically. So just go to the right hand side of the page and select go live. Now staying on the right side of the page here, you're gonna see some additional features. One of those is to create a highlight video. So after you've streamed for longer than a minute, you're gonna have the ability to go back to portions of your live stream to be able to capture those highlight moments and then upload that in the form of a video, public or even unlisted. Next to that, you have the ability to add a stream marker, which is basically just bookmarking a certain time of the stream. You have the ability to share your stream to different platforms as well as being able to copy the link to your stream. Within the chat itself, you as the creator have some additional features. You can pop out the chat window in case you wanna move your chat dialogue to different areas of your desktop. You can also manage comments by selecting the three dotted icon next to someone's name in the chat, giving you the ability to pin their comment, make the mod, or even ban them from the channel. At the bottom of your chat, you have the ability to create a poll, which is relatively new, but really cool, and it helps engage your chat even more in deciding what things to do on the stream. But now if you're all done with your stream, just go ahead and select in stream, press end again, 
and stop your stream and your streaming software. And then now let's go to our YouTube studio. On the left side, go to content and then select the live tab this is where you're gonna see your past completed live streams. Something else we gotta talk about are live redirects. To manage this feature, go to your settings from your channel dashboard, select the community tab, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the live redirects. Here you'll wanna put in the channel URL of the creator that you'll allow your streams to be directed to, and that creator will need to do the same thing for you if you wanna redirect to their channel. Now when you're live and you're about to end your stream, you can go to your settings and add their stream as a redirect option if they're live as well. Once you end stream, all of your current viewers will redirect to their stream it is my birthday today guys so midnight man's gift to me was this raid i really appreciate it one other thing that i don't have the feature for in the community tab here is the channel guidelines these guidelines won't be enforced by youtube but at least it'll tell your audience how you would like them to behave be a good boy now i'm pretty certain after editing this down it's gonna be over five minutes but there's a lot of good information there about the features that youtube has currently so i hope it helped you guys hit it with the big thumbs up if it did subscribe to the channel if you're new around here click on the video on screen if you want to learn more about how to use obs from the ground up for your streaming purposes and with that i'll catch you guys in the next one peace